What I want to demonstrate today is how to take your finished tool, the handle, and prepare it with the hole to accept the tang in the tool body. This tang here is 3 inches long from the shoulder to the end and 7 16 in diameter. And so you want to drill a hole in your handle that's 7 16 in diameter and at least 3 inches long or deep. This can be done many ways, but it's easiest to do it on the lathe. I'm using a chuck and a, on the headstock and a chuck in the tailstock to hold the drill bits. One of the things you want to keep in mind when you prepare your handle is to have these waste blocks on the end. This tool handle will end here and this waste block coming out of the front will allow some tear out if it occurs to be on, an, on a piece of wood that you're going to cut off. On the end of the handle, where you're going to grab it with the chuck, there's a waste block that will allow the chuck to grab it. So when you put these waste blocks on your handle blank and turn the handle, bear in mind that you want to turn this waste block fairly straight and true so that when you engage it in your uh, headstock chuck, it'll uh, be centered. So what I'm going to do is put this into the chuck of the, uh, the lathe and I'm grabbing just that waste block so I'm not going to damage any part of the handle. Get it fairly close to center and tighten it and you see it's supported by itself. I have this little block of wood with a towel on top in case I want to reference it and uh, supply some support. I'm going to put about a 3 16 drill bit in my tailstock and bring it up to the hole that the center left in my waste block. Just bring it up to it so I know that I'm really close to center. I'm going to turn the lathe on now. Make sure I'm unlocked here. As soon as I turn this on, I'm going to start moving this chuck forward so it engages the wood and it won't wander that way. If you let it spin too long without engaging it right away, the drill bit might wander. The idea is to keep this dead center, which if you find the center point of, your, uh, that, of the spur center that you used, you know you're right on center because this is all turned on the lathe. So, so I'm going to take this smaller drill bit and just go in maybe an inch or so. That's good enough, and then I can shut this off and bring the drill back out. Now I'm going to back the tailstock up, take this drill bit out, and it fell on the floor, so I'll get that later. Put the uh, 7 16 drill bit in. Again, I'm going to bring it up just about to on center. As soon as I turn this on, I'm going to uh, start moving the drill forward. You want to go slowly so that you don't jam the hole full of uh, shavings. thing I want to point out, this is uh, drilled and ready to go, but we're talking about those waste blocks. Keep in mind, as I said, you want to go in three inches into your handle. If your waste block is a quarter inch long, and you might want to leave a quarter inch of additional throw in the handle just to be safe, that means from this point you want to drill in three and a half inches. Three and a half minus this quarter inch that you're going to cut off will leave three and a quarter inches. Always keep in mind that your depth has to be increased by the thickness of your waste block. 
But that's about it. I uh, will take the next steps now of cutting this waste block off, sanding and finishing the ends. Uh, the same thing with the, the rear of the handle. And uh, my tool will be ready to be completed. The tool body will go in here like that. Obviously this one here I have to drill a little deeper. But that's how you get that dead center on your turn handle and uh, ready to move forward with completing the turning tool. Thank you very much.